did you see what Raven said on The View yesterday? No, what she said? She said that she doesn't identify as African American and that she's not from Africa. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, she's always saying something wild. But if you think about it, it's probably not even true. You like, because of like mitochondrial Eve, you know? Well, probably not, but honestly, what is mitochondrial Eve? It's basically like the beginning of mankind. It's, ugh. but I'm not really good at explaining it. Wait, there's like a really good video I can show you though. All right, cool. Have you ever wanted to know where we come from? Do you think that we come from Adam and Eve? Maybe you do, or maybe you don't. This video is gonna tell you all about mankind's mother. Mitochondrial Eve. Mitochondrial Eve, in theory, is that all living humans come from a common ancestor in a direct, unbroken maternal line who lived about a hundred thousand years ago. Pretty crazy concept, right? Stay tuned to find out the, about the history of this amazing phenomenon. In human reproduction, both parents are for gametes, which forms a zygote. The female gives something very special called mitochondrial DNA, and she got it from her mother and her mother's mother. So in theory, it traces back to the first woman alive, known as Eve. Also, in the cell, there is DNA in the nucleus, which is most commonly known as DNA or deoxyribonucleic acid which comes from both parents, so it can't be used to trace our origins. This is what makes mitochondrial DNA so special. The idea of mitochondrial Eve is simple. Basically, there's a common ancestor that all people inherit their mitochondrial DNA from. Mitochondrial Eve is named after mitochondria and Eve from the Bible. But unlike Eve, mitochondrial Eve was not the only female during her time. Many scientists estimate that Eve lived about 200,000 years ago, and is most likely from East Africa. The idea of mitochondrial Eve has sparked some controversy amongst anthropologists. The anthropologists disagree with the time frame that Eve was the time frame of Eve because they believe she, man came from Africa one million years ago. The theory of mitochondrial Eve also disclaims previous notions that humans evolved in different parts of the world, and instead claims that we're all from the same place. The reason we know so much about mitochondrial Eve is due to the scientific work by Alan Wilson, Mark Stone King, and Rebecca L. Kahn of University of California, Berkeley. Their work shows proof that determines the time and place where we all get our mitochondrial DNA from. Additionally, with the help of mitochondrial Eve, we are also able to track migration patterns. Now, to explain some biology about mitochondrial DNA, as most people know, Humans have 46 chromosomes, 23 coming from each parent. We also get a combination of DNA from both our parents, so we have traits from the both of them. There is DNA located in the mitochondria, the organelle that provides energy to the cell. But get this, it only comes from the mother. So our mitochondrial DNA is identical to our mother and is then passed down from generation to generation. Our collective genome and its distribution is our story as humans, and it's pretty cool that we can learn so much about it itself all the time. History and literature go hand in hand most times. Writers get inspired by their reality, which is now history to us. I will be speaking about how mitochondrial Eve and literature correlate. I will be first speaking about the Bible, the King James Version. I will be speaking from Genesis chapter 2 verses 8 through 10 and 15 and it speaks about how the Garden of Eden was set in Africa which was the original site of mitochondrial E and my other source will be the book from Brian Sykes the seven daughters of Eden and he basically pioneered how DNA can link us to our ancestry of humans the Seven Daughters of Eve is a book by Brian Sykes, professor of human genetics at Oxford University. The book simplifies the theory of human mitochondrial DNA. Sykes describes the principle of genetics and evolution as it relates to modern humans and our ancestors. 
Sykes talks about the out of Africa theory, which is the most widely accepted theory that humankind came from Africa, but we migrated to different parts of the world. The seven daughters of Eve refer to the seven mitochondrial haplogroups, which are defined by differences in mitochondrial DNA. Sykes fictionalizes the seven daughters, calling them clan mothers, all sharing a maternal ancestor, mitochondrial Eve. River Out of Eden, Our Darwinian View of Life, is a book by Richard Dawkins, an evolutionary biologist and writer. The book is about Darwinian evolution, and its title comes from Genesis 2.10 as it relates to the Garden of Eden. The book consists of five chapters, the first setting the pace for the, the, for the rest of the book because it suggests that life is a river of genes flowing through geological time where organisms are temporary bodies. The second chapter, which is what we care about, shows how our ancestry can be traced to one common ancestor, African or mitochondrial Eve. History repeats itself all the time. History and literature go hand in hand most times. Writers get inspired by their reality, which is now history to us. Dr. Oxley, can you tell us a little bit about how pop culture and mitochondria Eve relate? Well, for me to speak on popular culture in regards to mitochondria Eve, we first must define what, what is pop culture. Popular culture, the Oxford Dictionary describes it as the culture based on the taste of ordinary people rather than the educated elite. Popular culture and the media took the original scientific article that caused all the commotion, mitochondria DNA and human evolution, and went running with it. Brian Sykes has written a popular novel, well, this was a science book, entitled The Seven Doors of Eve. The Discovery Channel has produced a ridiculous, um, groundbreaking documentary entitled The Real Eve. The Japanese novel, horror film, and video game series Parasite Eve uses the mitochondria Eve theory as a basis for a fantasy about a scientist resurrecting his wife by regenerating her cells. The original scientist did not use the term mitochondria Eve or even the name Eve in their original paper. It appears to be a catchy term popularized by the media. The name appeared in a 1987 article in Science by Roger Levin, headlined The Unmasking of Mitochondria Eve. The biblical connotation was very clear from the start. The accompanying research in Nature had the obvious title out of the Garden of Eden. The concept of Eve caught on with the public and was repeated in a Newsweek cover story. F featured a depiction of Adam and Eve on the cover. I don't know if there was a snake and an apple. The search for Adam and Eve, most recently in popular culture, rapper Wally referenced mitochondria in his song Five Minutes. As it goes, I can sell like mitochondria, which kind of means since mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Um, the rest of the lyrics aren't really needed. But in regards to pop culture and mitochondria Eve, when someone tells me or it tells anyone that they know where you came from, everyone wants to know about it. Well, that's all I have to say on that topic. Thank you. Is your mind blown? Cause mine is. To think you and Dr. Dash all came from the same woman is incredible. Although scientists still have various opinions on origins, I think it's safe to say that we all came from the same place. There's still so much for us to learn about our ancestry, but mitochondrial Eve is one place to start. See, Raven is crazy. She's always talking about something she doesn't even know. Yeah, she is crazy, but it was cool that I learned a lot about mitochondrial Eve. Yeah, I think it's so weird how we like all come from like the same woman. Yeah, that was a great video. It was so informative. Hello, my name is Sinclair Gilkison. I'm a journalism major, leadership studies minor from Peoria, Illinois. My name is Maya Gray. I'm a strategic communications major, French minor from Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh, hey, my name is Joshua Oxy. I'm a freshman from Maryland, well, Silver Spring, Maryland. My major is Music Recording Technologies. Thanks. Hey, y'all, my name is Taylor Lee, a freshman journalism major from Atlanta, Georgia. Hello, my name is Deja DePriest. I am a criminal justice major from Richmond, Virginia.